I'm just happy to be here today, folks, and I hope I don't embarrass myself, and I want to just thank you all for giving me the opportunity to play, and I wish my uh, opponent the best in the world for now. Cheers. Well, 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 look, the kingdom is back in movie war zone, and I've got myself uh, a new recruit, a new uh, a new squire, if you will. Uh, Cameron, the conductor Holtzman, is your next war zone singles champion. If you don't believe me, he's going to prove it to you tonight. It might be the best showing you will ever see. Cam will be blessing the kingdom with many a title. Cam, go ahead. Anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be playing... Uh whatever his name is uh you know uh never really heard of this guy don't know where he's coming from don't know what he can do but whatever it is i doubt it's as good as what i can do uh i'm here to have a good time i'm here to win i do my talking in the ring so let's do it absolutely i'll hail the kingdom Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Multiplex Movie Warzone. We have another debut match today with two players who have not yet played in our league. We're looking to see what they can do. Some damage here in the regular Movie Warzone trivia. Um, but first, before I get to them, let me introduce my co-host. You know him. He's the arsonist, Jay Burns. Jay, how are you feeling tonight? Uh, just a little peek behind the curtain. Uh, I'm dressed like Ben Riley right now, uh, and like everybody else, he's forgotten, and I've forgotten to do one thing, uh, and that is... Make the sign up for uh, Thursday's Full Metal Classic. So now you know what day this is, possibly. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm I'm good. Uh, Jacob had an interesting strategy, and then you know, there's Coho. Yeah, well, we won't. He's we'll pretend Coho is not involved and just focus on Cameron because you know <laughs> Coho. All right. <laughs> Um, so with that, let me get into my formal introductions. Um, first, we have uh, a face you may have seen around. Uh, he hosts um, the other Full Metal Classic uh, edition, and that is Cameron, the conductor, Holzman. Cameron, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm excited to be making my Warzone debut. I've uh, been debuting everywhere in the past month and <laughs> checking another one off the list. Excited to play. Excited to get into the ring and let's see what happens. All right, glad to hear it. And uh, coming to the ring second is another new face making his debut here in Multiplex Movie Warzone. It is Jacob, the fat-headed stepchild, Pierce. Jacob, how are you feeling tonight? Uh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited to be here, so hopefully I don't make a fool of myself. <laughs> no problem at all. We'll try to be gentle for your first right. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, let me bring back my co-host, everyone. All right, and with that, we're going to get into our match with round one. Round one, you know how it works. It's going to be eight questions in eight different categories, each worth one point. If you get them all right, you will get one extra question for a bonus point. You must uh, write your questions down. You'll have 15 seconds from the time I stop reading. Uh, when we call on you, show us your board and verbalize your answer. And you will get three repeats and one challenge for the match. Are there any questions? Nope. I uh, think we're good. All right. So, Jay, why don't you take its way with question number one? All right, guys. Question number one in round one comes to you in the category of prequels, sequels, and reboots. You know how we love them. Uh, what is the name of the sequel to Shanghai Noon? Uh, what is your favorite sequel movie, Brian? My favorite sequel? Well, you got to go with something like Empire Strikes Back, you know. Fair That's enough. Fine. What's your favorite reboot? Uh, you know what it's not going to be is if they end up doing that Princess Bride one they talked about today. <laughs> Big uh, oof. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. Markers down. Never. Uh, I've never seen Shanghai Noon, but I've seen Shanghai Nights. That is correct. And Jacob. Shanghai Nights. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. He's on the board. He's on the board. I've legit only seen the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're missing too much. I can't imagine they're that different. Question two in the category of recent releases. In Late Night, who plays the husband of Emma Thompson's character? I thought this one was all right. Not worth some of the hype around it, but. I laughed a little bit, you know. Got a decent shot. Fox appearance. Jay Leno jokes are always, always good for a time. 
markers down. So I will start with Jacob. Didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. No. Uh, and Cameron. Uh, John Lithgow. John Lithgow is correct for the points. I really enjoyed it. It was a good time. Yeah, it's a shame about that last batch of okra. Uh, your third question, sorry, interstellar joke. Uh, <laughs> your third question comes in the realm of Oscars. <clears throat> uh, Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep received her first Oscar nomination for what film? I believe that was her last one too, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. She never done anything. <laughs> one and done. She retired. She got out the game. Five, four. Three, two, one, markers down. And we will go back to Cameron. Uh, the Deer Hunter. And Jacob. I put Kramer versus Kramer. Deer Hunter is correct. Okay. Question four will come to you in the category of directors. Who directed both Once Upon a Time in the West and Once Upon a Time in America? I really want to say something about somebody involved in some of these movies, but I can't because it'll give something away. Yeah. Oh, it hurts so bad, too. <laughs> I know exactly what you're thinking about, too. Five, four, three. I'll tell you after the countdown. I think you might four. be surprised. Markers down. All right. I will start with Jacob. Don't got it. And Cameron? Is it Sergio Leone? It is. Oh, I was going to put that too. <laughs> Always put something on your board. You think it's wrong. Uh, I was going right. to say I was a big oh. fan of Ennio Morricone. Uh, in comedies, guys, do it with me. <laughs> don't, don't. Stop. Stop. You lose all your points. Uh, what is the profession of Charlie Day's character in Horrible Bosses? Uh, have you ever had a horrible boss? No, but if I had his horrible boss, I would have been really okay with her sexually assaulting me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank saying. you very much. Are you allowed to say that in this political climate, Brian? I'm saying it's okay he's for me. begging for I'm it. Choosing. So it's not assault at that point. It's just... It, it, <laughs> it all depends on what he's wearing at the time. <laughs> Markers down. All right. Oh, my. I'm never going to be allowed to host again. Uh, Cameron. I said he's like a dentist slash dental assistant. And Jacob. I put dentist. I'm going to leave that one up to Brian because on his board he had dental assistant. I, I didn't know how to phrase it. She does most of the um, work. Yeah. The I mean, no. He works with her in the office. I'm inclined to give it to her unless Jacob has an objection. Well, I'm a man. But yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to give it to both of them. Okay. Cameron stand for want, five. I just wanted to be sure. I said dentist beforehand as well. I was like, I just didn't know how to put yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, question six in the category of sports movies. What sport is the subject of the movie Whip It? Can you whip it? Whip it good. Mm. <laughs> you can't talk I about really without singing that. Five, four, three, and animal three, abuse live on screen. Two, one. Mark your staff. Jacob? Don't got it. I don't even know what that is. And Cameron? Roller Derby. Roller Derby is correct. Still perfect through six. Let's see if he can make it seven. In the category of coming of age movies, who plays Regina's mother in Mean Girls? Uh, Brian, have you ever tried to make fetch happen? <laughs> no, sadly, I was well out of high school by the time this movie came out. So, thank God. If I tried to make it happen, I, 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 I love the movie. Cool I love the musical based on it. Three, two, one. Markers down. And Cameron. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Amy Poehler. Yikes! That is oh, that's what you say. Crap. Oh, so close. So oh, close. Oh. And the uh, eighth and final question of round number one in uh, the category of 90s movies. In my own private Idaho, River Phoenix's Mike suffers from what disorder? 
Ooh, I, Ooh, I'm just going to keep my time. mouth shut on this one because I almost made a very, very dark joke. <laughs> you oh. can make your dark jokes after. Yes. Yes, I will. Trust me. Can um, we repeat the question? Yes, sir. Can you use a repeat? It's your first repeat. In 90s movies, in my own private Idaho, River Phoenix's Mike suffers from what disorder? Now, if you had to own your own private state, which one would you choose and why? Um, California, because then I'd get all the money. <laughs> I'm Three, thinking Florida and just two. kicking everybody out of Miami. Hey, that works for me. All right, I'm going to start with Jacob. I put autism. I can't remember. And Cameron. I said schizophrenia. Oh, when there goes the perfect round, unfortunately. I'm sorry. The correct answer is narcolepsy. Oh, narcolepsy. That's been years since I've seen that movie. All right, so at the I end of round I one, Cameron I'm felt just back. short with seven points. I have J Jacob with two. How would you have? Uh, that is exactly what I have, sir. All right, and that will bring us into round two. With plenty of time for the score to change. We'll see what happens. Round two is, of course, our wheel round. There will be eight categories plus spinners and opponents' choice. You spin the wheel. If you don't like what you get, you can spin again, but you will be stuck with that second spin. Uh, there are five questions in each category, each worth two points. If you go to multiple choice, it's just worth one point, and stealing is available. So our categories for today will be these uh, player strengths of 2010's musicals, 2000s Disney animation, 1970s, and movie release dates, as well as sci-fi fantasy, Clint Eastwood, family films, and romantic comedies. Now, Cameron, you are in the lead. You can choose to go first or defer. Uh, I will go second. Okay, so Jake, <laughs> this will be our first spin, Jacob. All right. Let's do something good. Clint Eastwood. Let's go ahead and spin again. All right. We're stuck with whatever this lands. Oh, I hope so. The spin is in. Movie release dates. One of his we'll strengths, I believe. All right. Hey, do I go ahead and give Jacob his questions? Yeah, I'll give Jacob his questions. All right, Jacob. Yep. Uh, we are in round two, buddy. Uh, this is where I'm told anything can happen. Are you ready for your questions in, I in, in movie release dates? I almost said multiple choices. That's what <laughs> I call it. That's fine. Let me. <laughs> All right. Uh, your first question of five in movie release dates. What year? Was Ferris Bueller's Day Off released? Do I need to write it down or just speak into it? Uh, you can go ahead and say it. If you get it in, a, if you get it wrong, Cameron has to write okay. it on his board. Uh, Nineteen eighty-five. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Cameron, a chance for a two-point steal. Nineteen eighty-eight. Ooh, both of them getting it wrong. Unfortunately, it's actually nineteen eighty-six. Yes. Uh, and don't worry. You don't have to write the answers. It's not. A, okay. It's it's it just. <laughs> Uh, we will get Brook we will get Brooklyn to send you a sandwich, sir. Uh, your <laughs> second question in movie release dates. What year did Roger Moore's first James Bond movie come out? Ooh. Is there a multiple choice on this one? There is. It will All right. Your All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the multiple choice. Most definitely. Is it A 1973? Is it B, 1975? Is it C, 1976? Or is it D, 1980? I'm going to go ahead and say uh, 1975. A chance for a one-point steal, Cameron. Oh, I'll go 72. Not an option on the board. I'm sorry, just say it is what he said. Yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, right. we can't. Take I meant to say 73, but I said the wrong number. <laughs> and unfortunately, that was on me because I, he went to multiple choice and I did not give you the options for it. No worries. Uh, do better. Uh, your third question in movie right. release dates. <clears throat> um, would I have been right if I said 73? You would have been right for one point, yes. Mother. <laughs> Father, <laughs> uh, Melon Farmer. Uh, what year did Johnny Depp star in both Don Juan DeMarco and Ed Wood? 1994. Two big points. Helping him uh, 
close that gap there. Your fourth question in movie release dates. <clears throat> Sorry about that. What year did the classic musical Guys and Dolls come out? <laughs> uh, multiple choice. Not that it's going to help. Is it A, 1952? Is it B, 1955? Is it C, 1962? Or is it D, 1965? Let's go with uh, 1955. For one point. Yes, sir. Maneuvering his way deftly around the movie release dates category. And your last question in movie release dates. What year was the first Maze Runner released? I'm going to go ahead and say 2012. A chance for a two-point steal, Cameron. 2014. For two Titanic-sized points. I was looking at Will Poulter's filmography earlier today. <laughs> All right, so Cameron finally picking up a steal at the end of the round for two points. Uh, Jacob scoring three points of his own. And now it's going to go over to Cameron for his shot at the wheel. Cameron, do you want to try and bring in Caleb? Uh, yeah, Caleb, if you're there, if you can pop in, that'd be dope. Sweet. Cool. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Caleb, I, can't, I cannot hear you at all. Really? No. You can there's a bunch of interference. He might be talking on because he's in a your list sucks right now. Yeah, he's in your list sucks right now. Oh, I, oh, he just dropped anyway. Okay, so he's gone. You're on your own, Cameron. Oh wait, no, he came back in. Wait, let me try and bring him back. Hello. No. You sound like Starscream. I I like cannot hear it all. Coho, do you just want to do you just want to hop into the into like the text chat and you can send me advice through there? Um, and, uh, but I, have a question where I'm coming. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't understand you. <laughs> oh my god, it's like getting it. It's, it's like uh, the major trying to talk to Solid Snake in the first Metal, Metal Gear Solid game. You just can't understand what's say what's being said. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, in the All meantime, right, co -host, co -host in the chat, we'll just try and me from there. <laughs> No matter what happens, you got to spin once at least. So let's yeah. see what it lands. Oh, it doesn't Ooh, matter. It's when it's choice. Ouch. So all right, I'm going to go ahead and get Caleb in here. Okay. Um, so Jacob, uh, would you like to hear the categories again that you can give him? Uh, yes, please. Okay. There is uh, sci-fi fantasy, Clint Eastwood, 2010s musicals, romantic comedy, family films, 1970s. And 2000s Disney animation. Uh, let's go with uh, romantic comedy. Romantic comedies. All right. I will gladly take that <laughs> over some of the things on that wheel. I'll take it. Okay, so I will. <clears throat> I will give you questions in romantic comedies. All right, Cameron. Your first question. Amy Adams travels to Ireland to propose to her boyfriend because Irish tradition says on a certain day he must accept. In what 2010 film? Leap year. That is correct for two points. Question two. Who directed Keanu Reeves, Jack Nicholson, and Diane Keaton in Something's Gotta Give? Multiple choice. Is it A, Nancy Myers, B, Nora Ephron, C, Penny Marshall, or D, James L. Brooks? Nancy Myers. That is correct for one point. Question three in romantic comedies. In 500 Days of Summer, Tom is said to have gotten his idea of love from a complete misunderstanding of what film? Multiple choice. Is it A, Annie Hall, B, The Graduate, C, Say Anything, or D, Casablanca? The Graduate. That is correct for one point. 
your penultimate question. Uh, in Bride Wars, what Marvel actor plays Fletcher, the fiance of Anne Hathaway's character? You know, I've actually seen this movie. <laughs> Let's go multiple tries to be safe. All right. Is it A, James Marsden, B, James McAvoy, C, Chris Pratt, or D, Chris Evans? I'm going to say Chris Pratt. That is correct for one point. And your last um, question in romantic. I just, I was, I just, if I get this right for two points, it's a knockout, right? That's exactly what I was going to say. Right. So, your last question in romantic comedies. What is the profession of Eva Mendez's character in Hitch? She's a reporter. And your winner by way of knockout. Cameron, wow. the conductor. Hold yes! <laughs> All right, so definitely navigating romantic comedies. He was given as an opponent's choice, but apparently it's something that he <laughs> obviously he did pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> I spend too much time fantasizing about love instead of actually being. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, with that, uh, let me go to uh, Jay. You want to do post post match interviews? Oh yeah, I can do that. Okay, why don't you go ahead and start with our winner, Cameron? Hey, what's up, buddy? It's been a minute since I've seen you. Yeah. How, you, <laughs> how you feeling about this win tonight and how are you feeling about moving forward? Uh I'm I'm feeling real good when when he spun opponent's choice. I I got real nervous and if he had handed me Clint Eastwood or probably handed me 70s that that would have been a done deal that would have fully changed the game, but he handed me romantic comedies and I got lucky with those questions. I, I navigated my way through on multiple choice. Uh, I think I played a great first round. I played a solid second round. I, I'm, I'm real happy. This is a great way to get started here, and I'm excited to see where I move forward. Uh, it sucks that Caleb's internet was being the worst and that he couldn't be here uh, to like actually talk to me, but he was still here in the chat, and he was super helpful, giving me a bit of advice, and all in all, had a great time. Loved doing this. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, when the poll goes up, Caleb's ISP, uh, multiplex heel of the year, yay or nay? Um, like, there's all these people calling Caleb a heel and calling. No, I'm, I'm talking about his internet. Oh, Caleb's internet. Uh, to me, yeah, Caleb is a person, not a heel, just a cool dude, just a good guy. Kingdom, just a bunch of cool guys led by a cool guy. They never done anything wrong. They're just the nicest people. They can't be heels if they're nice, so. Eh. That's what every jock says in an 80s movie ever, where the, I'm the uh, opposite end of, of whatever a jock is. The end of the film is them skiing down a mountain. Uh, who are you looking forward to playing next, if you have um, to choose? Um, I'm, like, I don't have my eyes on anyone in particular. I'm not, like, I don't totally know who's like in my range of who I could be facing. I know uh, after the title match, Boatman said he'd love to play me. I'd love to do that. I think it'd be a fun match. I think it'd be a great match where you're getting two of the youngest guys in the league playing against each other to go up against Jeremy. And I think that'd be a fun time. Uh, but I know I got to get through a few, few people to get there first and I'll take what's coming to me and I'll roll with the punches like I did today. Can't wait to see where you go, buddy. This was a fantastic match. Uh, Got to say, that that just that last question in round one, are you a little bit bitter about it? Did you want to hear that extra that that uh, that point, that extra point question? It would have been nice, but at the end, like, I didn't need that extra point. I still made it to That's the true. territory without it. Like, would it have been nice to hear an extra question? Absolutely. But we got a question about a movie that I – have heard of a few times in passing, but have never seen and never really looked into. So I'll take it. I feel that. I feel that. We'll jump back to the desk before I jump over and speak to Jacob. We'll be right back. Jacob. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a little bit of a tough path. Um, 
Cameron is a conductor of chaos. This man will come through and sow whatever he can, and it happened to be Discord, not Rhapsody today. How are you feeling about your performance? Are you a little... I, I don't want you to beat yourself up, but like if you had to critique yourself just a little bit, what would you... Uh, what would you have done a little bit better? Well, or differently, I should say. I would have took more chances on the first round. I think that I knew at least one or two of them, but I was just like, eh, screw that. But um, hats off to Cameron. He's a great competitor. He really knew his romantic comedies, and I wish I would have known that. <laughs> but he's a great guy, and he's a great competitor. And he seems like he's going to probably go way up there. And, and like Sam Levine, I'm hitting a rough spot right now, but I'll be back. Completely, I, I completely understand that. Uh, have you seen anybody in the leagues that uh, you might want to play? Uh, somebody who has... Who you can take a baseball bat to the knees, basically. <laughs> I'm not going to say any names right now, but I'll welcome any challenge. <laughs> and I'm just glad to be here, and hats off to Cameron. Yes, hell of a good fight. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And back to the desk we go. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was a quick match. We got we got a knockout there. Um, J Jacob, uh, the, like you said, first round. Uh, there's a couple of them. He should have uh, gone with his gut and put it, answers down on his board. If he didn't think it was right, just to have an answer because he might have gotten a couple of them right there. Uh, second round. Um, I, I wonder if he regrets not going to multiple choice a couple more times. Um, just to give him a better shot at him, but you know, it's it's everybody starts out in the league a little rusty. You got to see where it takes you. You got to learn learn from your losses, and I'm sure we'll see more of him. Cameron, of course, did excellent job in in both uh, both rounds one and two. So I'm sure we're going to see a lot more out of him. Um, like you say, he's got a few more uh, wins to get under his belt before he gets to try and face Caleb. But uh, that would be a good match if if, if we ever get to that point. Um, uh, you got any final thoughts on the match, Jay? Uh, watch movies. <laughs> watch more movies good advice uh, especially when you're going to go into movie trivia so um well then on behalf of myself brian the mcguffin michaels jay the arsonist burns cameron the conductor holzman and right. jacob the fat-headed stepchild pierce thanks everybody for watching and we'll catch you next time peace